Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a try on of this wig that y'all, I have to admit, this wig I looked for for months. It was sold out everywhere for months. And I finally got my hands on this wig. I am truly hoping that all of the hype wasn't just for YouTube or for views and that this wig is everything that it promises to be. I am hoping that the color is everything that it promises to be. I am hoping that this wig is just everything that I am hoping for. So what wig is this you ask? This is from Outre's Lace Front Perfect Hairline Collection. The style is Laurel. The color is DRFF. Cajun Spice and their perfect hairline collection is created using fully hand tied 13 by 6 lace and this is supposed to be just the it wig of the moment honey so I want a wig just to come out the package put on your head and go about your day the point of getting these types of wigs is for conveniency um, I love the fact that synthetic wigs are more affordable of course in price but they also come ready to go out of the package. A lot of them you do not have to wear any type of glue tape, gel, adhesive, anything like that on them. They sit secure onto your head. And of course they're already fully styled for you and colored, which is like a plus, plus, plus. So I'm really excited about this one. Ms. L Ooh, Ms. Laura looks kind of shiny on camera, y'all. <laughs> uh, so um, I was trying to get Ms. Laura for the fall, but it's springtime, summer, spring slash summer time but I think she will still be as fine as wine for this time so taking Miss Laurel out the package what do we have what do we have so far I love the curls on her these curls are so pretty really pretty curls I did a wig that was this color I think it was from Outre also not too long ago the same copper color this is definitely copper what is this called? Cajun Spice? Same thing. And this wig does come with those face framing, uh, striking highlights, which is like the money piece in the front, you know, where your middle part is, which is super cute. And she does have dark roots. Taking this wig out the package, I can say the hairline is looking, looking just like a virgin hair wig. I'm very, very, very surprised um, by that. The knots are very small and seamless and it does look to be hand tied like virgin hair wigs are. I'm a little blown away, Outre. I'm a little blown away, Outre. Straight out of the package, I noticed that she does have this fake scalp. I'm not sure if this is going to match my complexion, which is a little scary. We're going to see how it all plays out. She has three combs, an adjustable strap, and then also she has an elastic band. Do you see these knots, y'all? Do y'all see these knots? Do y'all see these knots? Do y'all see these knots? This is identical to a virgin hair wig. An HD lace wig. Like as far as the knots being this small and discreet and the hairline being gradual. Very impressed by that outright. Very impressed. One thing that's a little scary though is that this part right here is looking like an adjustable strap, but that is the line of demarcation from the fake scalp to the actual hairline. I'm not exactly sure why it's so much of a noticeable difference. We're going to see how it looks when I put it on my head. It may blend in a little bit better once I put my um, wig cap on. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do to Miss Laurel is cut off the extra lace and then try her on. I already see that this wig is not my complexion, so I may have to spray some lace tint, especially where the line of demarcation is, just so that it could be more of a gradual color fade and color match and look a lot more natural um, in comparison to my scalp color. So I may do that off camera. I do make my own lace tint. I have one that's the color of my hairline and one well, that's the color of my hairline. I have one that's the color of my foundation, which I use on the hairline. And the other one that I use is the color of my scalp and I typically use that anywhere that the parting space would be on a wig. If you would like to know exactly how I made my DIY lace tint to custom make it match for my complexion, you can do it at home as well. I have a video posted on my channel on how you can do it and I'll have the link somewhere right here or down below in the description box.
it's definitely easier for you to cut the extra lace off if it's on a mannequin head so that is a quick tip if you are a beginner get a mannequin head so you can see exactly what you're doing y'all because this can go left really quick if you're not used to cutting extra lace off <laughs> just going to I hope I don't have to glue, tape, or adhere this down at all. But I'm just trying to style her and go, honey. The wig fits my head. I have a larger head, and it's not fitting the most secure. So if I did wear this outside somewhere, I know that I am going to have to definitely adhere her down with some got to be spray or got to be gel. Is it not parted for me? I don't know. What do you guys think of the color? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. I like the curls. I like the curls of this. This is giving me voluptuous. This is giving me sexy. This is giving me date night. But um, I need to figure out what is going on with the top. Okay. I see you, Laurel. I like how you can do this. Okay, Laurel. I love the cut. I love the curls. I love the length. I think they did a great job with the color, cut, and length of this wig. So, moving this wig forward. Okay, see that line of demarcation is still very apparent even after I tinted the lace. Let me move my um, wig cap forward a little bit more. See if that would help. Okay, it does. So it's best to wear a wig cap with this one. I'm gonna part her down the center. And then, <laughs> let me finger, let me brush through her a little bit because she's getting a little tangled. But she is beautiful. Okay, I love, love this color. The flow of this wig, y'all. The cut. It is literally everything. The density, it is literally everything. And it's not even styled yet. Like, it's it's styled, but I have not styled her to my face shape. I mean, like, there is literally no extra work that you gotta do to her. Like, no extra cutting, which I'm surprised. This is a beautiful, beautiful wig. Okay, I know it's still kind of early, but I think this one... I think this one is going to go down on Beige's recommended list. Like, I love this wig so far. It's just one major con that I'm noticing, and it's because I did not fully adhere it down. That line of demarcation, y'all, between that fake scalp and the hairline is a dead giveaway, y'all. Um, even when I put my wig cap a little bit further to the front, you can still see it. Uh, I'm hoping that you're not able to see it as much now that I did add like some baby hairs to it and then I sprayed a little bit of the Wonder Lace Bond from Even New York, but I'm sold already on the color. I'm just sold on the color, the cut, the style, all of them good things. Okay, so let's see what we have now that she's a little bit more tamed and molded. How do you guys feel about Miss Laurel? Let's see. She is beautiful. I love her. Go out and get her right now. I hope she's not sold out still. Go out and get her. Like, I love her. Okay, so it looks much better now that I did the baby hairs. You can't really... You can see the line of demarcation right there, but it's not as apparent as it was initially when I first took this wig out of the box. Now... I do suggest fully taking advantage of the full 13 by 6 cap construction. So, of course, it's best for you to use, like, some got to be free spray or got to be gel, the clear one, and put it on the hairline just so that you can do, like, a ponytail style. You could do a flip over because it is 13 by 6 and it's not your typical tea parting space. You are able to do a side part if you want to. You are able to do a high bun, a high ponytail, all of those cute things with this wig you can wear it out of your face of course mine is not <laughs> not secured so i can't you know do no close-up y'all but she is giving me everything that i wanted her to give for sure so typically when i get synthetic wigs i have to cut layers more layers in the wig just so that it could fit my face shape a little bit better but i did not have to do that with this outre did an amazing outstanding job on the layers and cut of this wig hands down 
hands down. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have all of the information about this wig down below in the description box. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. How do you feel about this wig? Where would you wear this wig to? This is giving me like a birthday party. Of course, a date night, of course. Birthday party, a cruise, vacation, um, a special event. This is like a showstopper type of wig. Like this is giving me like, as soon as somebody comes in the room with this color, this cut, this style, how voluminous and big this hair is. I feel like everyone's just want to look. Like, girl, who did you hear? Who did you hear? <laughs> I love her. Utre did my hair. Utre. <laughs>